And since he died, the community has stepped up with tributes and fundraisers in his honor. We have team coverage of the memorial services this afternoon as people across our area grieve this loss. Amy Frazier is live in Kelso, where DeRosier grew up and where people are gathering now to watch the memorial streamed live. But we want to begin with Elise Haas. She's live at the University of Portland, where that funeral procession just passed by moments ago. Elise? Yes, Emily, it was a beautiful procession for Deputy DeRosier today. And like you guys mentioned, it started in Longview and then came all the way down here under this American flag and ended here at the University of Portland. And let me tell you, there were dozens of motorcycles coming by. There was bagpipers, there was drummers, there was hundreds of men and women in a uniform today who came out to um, support Deputy DeRosier and his family. And one most notably in today's procession, an unmanned horse led Deputy DeRosier's casket to his memorial. And organizers told me that this procession took a lot of work. There was more than 70 people who worked together to put this on, and they say they wanted to make it beautiful for the DeRosiers, Justin's family, and his friends. And people came from all over the region to show their respects. I certainly want to show all my respect to Deputy DeRosier and to all in law, law enforcement. They put their lives on the line every day. Every call they go on, you never know what it's going to be, what the challenges are, and it's a, it's a hard job, it's a difficult task, and it's a dedication from their families and friends and, and the whole country to, to honor them, to care for them, and to respect them in times like this. And again, the public memorial is here at the Child Center at the University of Portland. It starts at 1 o'clock, but the doors are already open now. Many folks are already here, and just know that parking is limited, so there will be a shuttle from Terminal 2 in Portland. And today, instead of flowers, the family is asking you to consider donating to the um, Behind the Badge Foundation. That's an organization that helps families of fallen officers. Reporting live, Elise Haas, Quinn 6 News.